Hey guys, it's your boy Michael with the H&M Reviews channel and today we are out in the dark in the back of my car in the field. We are gonna review and test the JF Eggwo 4000 peak amp 28,000 milliamp hour battery so it's a powerful power bank as well. All right, you got some pretty cool information here if you want to take a little look real quick. Okay. This has a nice 3.7 HD LED color display. 3.7 inch screen color. 4000 peak amp, like I mentioned. This is a 12 volt. This will jumpstart vehicles up to 10 liter gasoline engines and up to 10 liter diesel engines. Very powerful. All right. We're ready. Let's actually get rid of this. A little riser thing we have here. Okay. JF Eggwo box over here and wow here is the unit very stout very heavy duty rubberish hard plastic very heavy duty guys very heavy duty you got to click the button twice to turn on the LED HD screen color as mentioned okay and the flashlight and the cable port are on the same side, which is a plus. Okay. And the light is also here. You've got to hit that twice in between each cycle. There is your 400 lumen flashlight, your strobe feature, and your SOS feature. So like I said, you have to click it twice each cycle. Okay. Nice. And here's the port in the back. This is also a 65 watt two-way charger. In and out, 65 watt. Okay. You have the USB-A port. 12 volt adapter port right there. And as mentioned, you have the cable port to hook up your cables, the port right here. So, let's see what we get. Okay, we have, give me a second, we have a manual, you must read this in order to know what you're doing correctly. It also comes with a JF Eggwo canvas drawstring bag, very, very nice. It's not nylon like most of them, this is a canvas material, you know, it's got the drawstring so you can carry everything in there. Okay, a little cable box, okay. Oh wow, it actually comes with a wall plug, a 20 watt quick charge wall plug. Most of these nowadays do not come with a plug. This comes with a 20 watt wall plug, even though the unit is a 65 watt two-way fast charge. It comes with a 20 watt wall plug. It comes with the female 12 volt adapter. Okay. This actually, you could put it in here and use it as a power bank. Goes in there and you could plug in whatever you need to. Uh, you could charge things. You could actually power up many, many things. You know, into here, into the female end. Okay, that's a power source right here. Okay, and it comes with a USB-C to USB-C charging wire. So this would actually charge or go into your plug and this would go into your unit and you would charge a unit that way okay okay let's actually put our stuff over here this has zero power it will go from zero to jump starting in four minutes you heard that right it will go from zero percent to jump starting your vehicle in four minutes that's remarkable also you will get 70 jump starts to a full charge on here okay and here are the cables you get here are the cables i just want to see i believe they're eight gauge wire eight gauge okay then you have the wires on both sides the top the top and the bottom which is very cool some people like that some people don't really care but you know you'll get power much quicker. The clamps are very heavy duty, nice copper teeth. 
And here is your little module that plugs in to your pack. And if you notice, there's there's um an there's an inaction button and a power button right here. So if you hook them up incorrectly, it'll probably light up red. If they're correct, it'll light up green, I'm sure. So yeah. And on the back of it, the boost button's on the back. How about that? See it? The boost button is right on top, and what if you look really close, the button is kind of like recessed, so you really can't push it in with your finger. You will need to push it in with a pen or something sharp to get in there. See it? So I wish the button was a little further out so you could just push it in with your finger. But nevertheless, it's pretty cool. Now we're just going to hook it up for one second. I want to see if it has the audible sound. These are keyed one way, so it only goes in one way. You plug them in. Boom. See the blue, uh, blue light is lit. Okay. And the screen is off at the moment, but let's hit these together and see if it makes a... Oh, there's the audible sound. I love that. Way to go, JF Eggwo. That's a plus. This will alert you if you have the clamps, reverse polarity, or if you're just touching them, which you should never do, it will alert you. So you are protected. If something goes wrong, you are protected. However, if the boost button is pushed in, all the security features are disabled and live power is going through these at all times. So keep that in mind. Once the boost button is pushed in, everything is live. Okay? All right. I'm gonna hook it up right here. Okay. See that? No. It's not charging yet, I don't believe. Here you go. Turn it on. Now, it's charging. See it? It is charging. Let me just... It actually shows you the wattage. See it? It's, it's 7 watt, 8 watt. See? Okay. Okay, let me just double check. 10 watt. Okay, I just want to show you guys. See it is charging. See it? I don't know if the light it might be... The autofocus might be a little whatever, but yeah, it shows. Very cool. And it actually, like I said, shows the voltage down there, what it's charging at. It's been going from 5 to 10. You know, it goes up, down. See? Very cool. So you could charge, you know, you could charge iPads, camping equipment, uh, sporting equipment, iPads, camera equipment. Whatever you could charge, this will do it. So let's uncharge. Okay, my phone over here, and take the plug out. And like I mentioned, this is a power delivery of 20 volts. Power delivery, 20 volt, quick charge plug. Very cool. It would have been nice if this came with a hard case, because most jump starters these days come with either a nylon bag or basically you know some come with hard cases but these are the more expensive ones and as you notice this went off automatically after a couple minutes the screen goes off but this will actually um uh this will work in negative 40 degrees up to 140 degrees so keep in mind if it's freezing out this will work up to negative 40 degrees or up to 140 degrees that's remarkable. Okay. As I showed you the ports before, I want to show you again. This is IP65 rated. Okay. It has the flap to cover the ports. So it is water resistant. Okay. Here's the back of it. This is the F40 model. The JF Eggwo model F40 12 volt jump starter and power bank. 4,000 peak amp. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, we are going to try to jumpstart my vehicle right here. I am in my Santa Fe tonight. 2018 Santa Fe. It's not the strongest car in the world, but I'm going to simulate a dead battery. I am going to take the cables off the battery just so you know how powerful this thing is. Because usually if you take the cables off the battery, 
and jumpstart the connections, that will truly show you if this is if this is worthwhile or not. Okay? So, let's go to the battery. As you notice, I took the cable off. See it? Took it off, just so you're aware. I am gonna hook up. There we go. See the blue button there? Okay. Alright, now. Okay, let's hook up the red one first. You don't have to, since this is a, a jump starter, you don't have to hook up the red one first since there's protections on here. Okay, a lot of people think you do, but but these are not your normal jumper cables. So, okay, now, here we go. It's actually clicking already. Let's see. Let's see if it'll start. All right. Okay, yeah, see what you gotta do is, if your car shuts off and you're trying to restart it, you gotta take the module out and put it back in. Okay, that's how you reset it. Okay, so put it back in. There we go. You hear it go on? You hear everything go on? Go. Here we go. That, my friends, is the 4000 Peak Amp JF Eggwo and Power Bank. Yeah, so that, that works out very well. Yeah, see the boost button? I was just reading the directions again. When it says 12 volts on, on here, right here, when it says 12 volt on your unit, that means that, the, that there's, you know, the boost is already active when you see the 12 volt. Okay, so. But. In order to reconnect everything, you have to take the module out and put it back in. That resets everything. So if you have a poor connection, pull this out and put it back in. Now let's actually see the light. I want to see the light in here. Hang on a second. Okay. All right, ready? Okay, there we go. So if we're doing anything, here we go. So if you are under the hood and there's no light, there you go. You can see what you're doing. See that? There you go. You got the little strobe and you got the SOS. So if you're stuck on the side of the road and you want to stay safe, you can put the unit on top of your car and send the strobe or the SOS just so nobody will hit your car. All right. Pretty cool. Let me turn on the light again. Awesome. So, yeah, guys, how is that? This is no joke, this thing. This is such heavy duty. And I don't know if I showed you the, the, the back of this, the back of the module here. I don't know if it says anything good. There you go. Yeah, you know, just a little information you might want to see. You know. All right, guys. Well, that's basically going to wrap up our little simulated battery test for the JF Eggwo. Hey, guys, these are must-haves. You must have one of these things. These will protect you. They'll save you. You know, like I said, negative 40 degrees it will work up to, or 140 degrees it'll work up to. It will keep a charge for 24 months if it's in the back of your car, but I recommend every couple months just to go out and top it off, charge it up. Because like I said, it might go down to like 97, 96 every couple months and you just top it off. This is to ensure that you won't get back to your car when you have a dead battery and there's no power left. All right. So yeah, guys, that's basically going to wrap up our little review and test of the JF Eggwo jump starter and power bank with 4000 peak amp, the F40 series with a 28,000 milliamp hour battery three levels of lights with 400 lumens and guys click that subscribe button 
click the bell icon, click all, so you never miss an upcoming post or video of ours. In the near future, we're going to test this in the freezer. We're going to give it a freezer test, see how it works. But now, let's shake your neighbor's hand, guys. No more fighting out there, right? The fighting has to stop in this world, all right? Shake your neighbor's hand, guys. Guess what? Peace out. Woo!